Here at the IU campus, over 47% of foreign students come from China. This is an estimated amount of over 3,000 students. You may have a class with one of these students. Have you talked to them? How often do we interact with a student population that makes up such a large portion of the student population? Some may wonder, why is there such a large culture gap between Chinese students and ourselves? I started learning Mandarin when I was 16 years old. I never really planned on it. It wasn't something that I fully planned out. It's actually one of the reasons I came to school here, because of the large Chinese population. Um, their culture is very different. They're very different in almost every sense. You may have noticed that they don't go out of their way a lot of times to speak to us. Sometimes it's because of language barriers. Sometimes it's because um, they're very shy culturally. Um, they're, ver they're people that, you know, you could definitely um, speak to about anything and they'd be more than happy to answer any questions. I think a lot of it has to do with language and I think a lot of another thing also has to do with a comfort level. They already know each other's culture so it's a lot easier for a Chinese student from China to make friends with someone else that might be experiencing similar things. It's very difficult to kind of have this friendship relationship um, with someone from China. Even myself, I speak their language, I have no problem communicating with them. I also feel like I still am outside of the circle just because I'm not from China. I've never lived there myself. My name is Xin Zhao, you can call me Maxi. Uh, my name is Jason. Uh, Chinese name is Chen Shen. I came here for Kali Business School because I was studying business. It's like, however, when I and went to this school, I was totally attracted by the beautiful views of this school. This is a wonderful place. I was touched by the warm-hearted um, teachers and instructors. They're really nice people. The food is always the hardest thing that I, I just can't. <laughs> well, I'm a foodie, so I definitely would call my friends to hang out. Just um, find some new restaurant that we haven't tried. And I like spicy food, so we'll definitely, normally we'll go to try hot pot. Of course, I'm from Sichuan Chengdu, which is famous for hot pot. This is the reason that why I am addicted to spicy food. <laughs> so like in Chengdu, it's the best city in China, in my opinion, that is. Because like uh, people here are very outgoing and they really like foreigners. They really like. Yes, yeah, very lovely and uh, I love food, so. What do you guys miss the most? Food, no. <laughs> I just miss food. You study abroad and people, you, you can definitely make some new friends. However, you just feel like, well, this is not my home and there's some quite different. It's very easy for me to make Chinese food, uh, Chinese, no Chinese food, Chinese people. However, like I can make some foreigners. However, you just can't like deeply communicate with them. I know some uh, some American people are very nice and outgoing and helpful. However, I don't know. Some Chinese people are just traditional. They just won't step forward. Like um, they don't know how to express their ideas or express their well, goodness for others. However, uh, foreigners are not. Um, I think it's like a mindset, because like the mindset of speaking English is different, kind of different than speaking Chinese. You have to view it as um, a tool, not like a subject. After I decide I'm probably gonna go study abroad, um, it's like my man's mindset was like different, and I just have this um, passion or enthusiasm. English. Oh, 
how do you guys get to campus then? Oh, uh, there's a bus. Okay. And if I take nine, yeah. The green Lamborghini is who? Definitely not me. Like you guys, you guys could like ask us some questions. Okay, that's good. So my name is Ina. It's Y I N A. Uh, Ma, my last name is Ma. M A. So it's a simple name. <laughs> I'm Yifan Mo. Like our name are really similar. And my name is Y I F A N M O. My name in English is Chris. Um, uh, but my I have a I do have a Chinese name. Um, it is Ying Xiaofeng. It's a pretty cool name, actually. I'm still linguistics. Linguistics? Yeah. Like English linguistics? Chinese linguistics. Chinese linguistics. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm majoring in accounting and finance in at Kelly School of Business. And I'm studying media, and with a focus on advertise on cinema media arts, and a concentration in advertising. It's really hard for me to like speak to that, like speak in English now. Uh, <laughs> uh, Ifan, where Ifan is from, um, food is usually very spicy. Food there is very different from where it is here, and so for her, it's sometimes. Um, <laughs> for me, I usually I will try Chinese food, like go to Chinese restaurant or cook Chinese food by myself. So I didn't really like try American food here to be honest. <laughs> My first time I come here and I try Panda Express, you know like mm -hmm. it, <laughs> I, I don't think that's Chinese food, but I like the title is Chinese food. <laughs> I love spicy food, but for American like I don't think like most American can eat spicy food. <laughs> Spicy foods, so all yeah. What were some of your bigger challenges when moving to a new country? I think the first month is the most difficult time for me because, like, I I basically know nothing about here and now no one here. Maybe it's hard for me to find someone like stay together. Even though I knew someone in my dorm, but like, it, we still need to spend some time to know each other much deeper and be a good friends. So maybe it's kind of lonely at the first time. Um, I think major in Kong is kind of really competitive, so we have to spend much time like doing things to improve ourselves. 